Now, the industrial policy of India. How is the industrial policy of India? What are the major changes that have brought or grown up or what did India learn from its earlier policies? See, if you focus on the uh, policy of industrial policy of India especially, we can come into the facts that the government and industrial development was very much restricted in the earlier days. It was like we have to take large factories, for example, the investment for the large industries or power plant industries. It needs very huge amount to be invested. And this huge amount when it is invested, we need to wait to get the reap outside for 5 to 10 years where any other private group or organizations are not ready to wait for such a long time. So the government has taken the initiative to invest in these kind of industries. And when we move on to the government norms, we have special norms which are made by the government that only a very few people or very few companies get the eligibility of owning uh, industries which are run by the private people. And most of the industries are under the hold of the government only. And this policy of giving the permissions or giving the licenses as taking a lot of delay process. It needs a lot of consultation, lot of thorough checkup and lot of investment which has to be done. And it also depends priorly to the political connections and the these political connections and the economic status of a family also plays a vital role in the issue of the license to the factories. And this has created a lot of chaos in the situation because the many fact many industries which are set up by the people are owned by the people who don't own any of these things. It is like suppose you are a very powerful person, you have huge profit or huge investment of money in your hand. You can take you own a textile industry, but you have permission to have cement industry also in your hand. You can have permission of having another industries also in your hand. But you don't run anything which is directly related to cement industry or any other industry. You own only a textile industry, which means that very few powerful people are controlling the entire license system because of their connections towards the government, because of their connections of the political influence. All these things have changed the system of the industrial policy. As the time passed on, we also have the uh, issue that the quality of the products which are produced in India, even it may be in the private or in the government, the quality is very less, but the price is high because when it is compared to the other countries' products, the quality is very high than Indian products and the product is less, the cost of the product is less. This is because of the changes which are happening and Indian government determines the prices of the product and the private factories also should sell at the same price which the Indian government determines for them. So like this, the lack of quality also made India to be stand last in the race of industrialization. But late after 1990s, we got the idea of industrial new policy in 1990s where the check on the new policy and to realign its policy stands have been brought seriously towards the government issue and they decided that we are going to seriously change the norms and rules and regulations and gave a free hand for the development of the industries. So in this, the major changes are government has changed the policy of only a few people can get the permissions or licenses and made it accessible to the government or private organizations of the other countries also as well as for the private individuals who can invest as given the permissions and licenses for them which has brought a very drastic changes in the industrial output and the impact of that was that we got nearly 2 lakh large factories developed in a very short span of time and 3 crore small holdings have developed and it provides the income or employment opportunities for one fifth of the entire India's population that is nearly 460 million people are getting employed in either 2 lakh large scale factories industries or 3 crore small marginal farm industries. And the one of the more important aspect what we have to analyze here is that the salaries of the employees, even though the industrial policy has brought a good drastic change in the industries and in the development of the number of industries, but the salaries of the employees were not so appropriate or not so fixed standard as per the salaries of the other nations. The salaries are very less and comparatively they change the employees very frequently so that they don't get the extra benefits of long period of time. So 
the india has not reached to that stage where the salaries of the employees or the benefits of the employees are sustainable or sufficient for an employee to be happily working but yes the industrial development has increased a lot and because of this industrial development we got rapid growth in the gdp rapid growth in the employment opportunities rapid growth for us the number of sites which are of waste use or barren lands have been preoccupied by these factories and they have set up these factories these all have contributed a large and lot for the indian economy but at the same time these all industrial developments have impacted the global warming if influence in india also because many of the industries they release the harmful gases outside and chemicals into the nearby water bodies which started to affect the climatic and the environment which is present around that one so it has brought some drastic changes yes some kind of pollution aspects are there which has to be addressed very carefully so the global warming does not increase and we don't increase pollution in our regions where the industries are set up so in this lesson we have covered what are industries what are the different categories of industries what are the different types and categorization the agro based industries then the mineral based industries and now the what is the basic drawback for india towards the industrial policy how did the indian government has changed its outlook towards the industrial policy all these things come to end for us that this is the reason why india today is running behind in the industrial progress rather even though after 60 years of india got its independence india was not in the very good race of first or second in the industrial production because of this industrial policy which was got changed in 1990s and gave the investment of foreign direct investments and brought the chances of new investment opportunities for us this have given a boom for the industries to develop let's hope this industrial sector will develop rapidly and achieve its success